So in the unit one, we are going to get the idea of what is web content, how to develop a web content, what are its policies, norms and guidelines, and also our information about how do you create audio production and editing. And any website which has been developed, it has to be hosted for public or different applications. So that is web hosting. Once if you publish your document, it's so it is available to the world. So that is the concept of e-publication concept. Dear students, welcome to BCA introduction classes. I am Ravi Kumar KR, lecturer in computer science, Vidyasham First Grade College, Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Students, in this introduction class, we are going to learn or know the subject or the syllabus prescribed by University of Mysore for six semester BCA students and the paper or the subject is web content management system. So at the end of the course, the learning outcome is at the end of the course. So student must be knowing what is the development basics, web content development basics. And again, knowledge of tools like for multimedia content development and also audio, video, graphic animations and students must have a knowledge about all these things and host websites and develop content for social media platforms. This is nothing but web hosting and understanding the concept of e-publications and virtual reality and use of e-learning platform Moodle and CMS application like Drupal and Joomla. These are the CMS software. So at the end of the course, student must be in a position to know or gain the knowledge of all these concepts. So there are five units in your syllabus. So unit one, see in unit one, we are going to talk about web content development and management. Now it is the it is nothing but the information or the content of a website. You know what is a content is nothing but information. So what is a web content? The means so here how to develop a web content or a information to a in a website or to a particular website or a web page. See that is a concept we are going to learn. And again under that we have what are different types of contents and what are different its formats and its norms and guidelines or policy of any website or web content to be developed and also creating digital graphics or animations and so on. So in the unit one, we are going to get the idea of what is web content, how to develop a web content, what are its policies, norms and guidelines and also our information about how do you create audio production and editing that is in unit one. In unit two, we are going to learn the concept of web hosting. Now you know what is a website and any website which has been developed, it has to be hosted for public or different applications. So that is web hosting and also managing multimedia content. It is a type of content. You know what is multimedia? I mean information about in different formats. So creating and maintaining wiki site, this is nothing but Wikipedia site. So we are going to learn how to create a wiki site and also about a knowledge of presentation software. Normally we use a PowerPoint, it is also a presentation software. Similarly, we can also know other different software for presentation. Next, again, screen costing or screen mirroring and tools and techniques. You know what is screen mirroring? or screen costing you might be familiar with when you are going to interface through your mobile system that is screen costing or screen mirroring and multilingual content development you know what is a content it is information it is multilingual content means your information should be available in different languages so these are the topics in the unit two in unit three this is the planning and developing dynamic web content sites. 
you know what is the website and one is another type of website is a dynamic website so here what is the definition of dynamic website here the information or the content it keeps changing depends on the time of the visiting a site or day of the visiting a site or with the or geographical changes all these nothing but the characteristics of a dynamic website so we are going to learn the concept of dynamic website and content for web content web content for dynamic website and also we are using the website design using css that is computer style sheets it is a language and this language used for formatting or describing your web content which is written in markup language so it is a, a software developed for formatting your web content with different font color styles and so on that is about css and again creating and managing a blog now we know what is a wiki site as well as a blog blog is nothing but is also a type of website where one can develop a blog or his own blog for its publication or for for its publicity this is nothing but a blog see so that is unit 3 is going to cover these concepts and in unit 4 it is a e publication concept e stands for electronic electronic publications means whatever the content available in the website that is nothing but your electronic content so how do you publish it so once if you publish your document it so it is available to the world so that is the concept of e publication concept and different tools for e publications and a concept like simulation and virtual reality applications creating 2d and 3d animations and creating new course and uploading i mean creating a website or creating a any of the wiki site or a blog and how to upload different concept into that or content into that particular website this covers in unit 4 and in unit 5 it is going to create and add assessment this is what say what are the web page or website you have created for that how do you add assessment i mean add and enroll user and discussion form and again these are the concept to be included in the site what you are going to develop or what you have developed that is the concept in unit 5 and also you are going to talk about the two software that is content management software cms software that is content management system one is joomla and one is drupal so with the help of this we are going to learn how to create a web page these are the topics in unit 5 so your entire syllabus is distributed in five different units now in the next slide we will see what is the question paper pattern so your it is a theory paper for 60 marks and in 60 marks we have there are two sections part a and part b and part b you are supposed to answer any three questions it is of 50 marks each and it is from all different units from unit 1 up to unit 5 you will get different questions and each questions will be of 7 or 8 marks each so in in every unit you have internal options or internal choice so here each questions carry 15 marks and total we have to answer 3 that is for 45 marks and in part b there it is for, there are three questions of 5 marks each so total is 15 marks and again this five marks questions is covered from all unit 1 to unit 5 this is and total marks is 60 so this is a question paper pattern for the paper web content management in the next slide we will see the book for reference here web content management system by dean barker second one is content management bible from bob boyko these two are the reference material for your syllabus students so in this session I have given brief introduction to the syllabus prescribed by university of mysore for 6th semester bca student and the paper subject is web content management system thank you so much